Hi all and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing an acrylic brand comparison of these five paints, focusing mainly on these three. We'll touch more on why I'm adding these two here momentarily, but for the tests, we will be doing the color as is, total coverage, so how many coats it takes of each of these paints to completely cover this black circle. And then in relation to that, we will also be doing a detailed coverage. So once again, how many coats of these paints it will take to cover this detailed coverage. And then finally, we will be looking at the ability for these paints to create and maintain the texture that we're creating in this final circle. So the reason why I feel like these are applicable for artists is when you're in the art aisle, if you're not familiar with these paints, sometimes it can be hard to determine what paint to go with. So I felt that these tests would be very helpful. Now, the reason why I chose the Cadmium Red Light is because of the fact that it is a pure color. So as you can see here, let me see if I can get that. To... So it is a PR108. That means it is a single pigment color. No other colors could be muddling this down. And the same is true with this one. So let's see, I don't remember where it is. Let me find it. PR108. If you can see that there, PR108. All right, and then Windsor and Newton also in the exact same color and let's find that pigment PR 108 now I didn't want to just be reviewing three paints just because the price points on these are a little bit higher and not everybody is going to want to spend $16.23 on a two ounce tube or even $10 on a two ounce tube like that's still quite a bit of money if you're starting out so in addition, I wanted to add the Dick Blick acrylics. Now, the big difference here is this is not a single pigment color. As you can see, this one is actually this color range. I did write it down here on the bottom just to make sure that it was going to be easier to view. And then I'm also looking at this Liquitex Basics, just because I feel like a lot of people do start out with the Liquitex Basics or more of like a student grade paint. And honestly, I feel like if you're starting out with a student grade paint, it can actually make learning how to paint and mix your colors a little bit more difficult due to, well, the opacity, uh, how it actually mixes. And then the fact of like, depending upon the color that you're trying to get, if this is not as pigmented as this, which I can almost guarantee that, but we'll see more here in a second. Learning how to have more than one brand or how to mix those colors across brands can become harder. So anyway, I digress. I just wanted to kind of hop on before we actually begin the test. So let's begin. Um, <laughs> Before we actually begin, I will actually be using the same brush for all of them. I will wash and dry in between, and then the same, I will be using this exact same palette knife for my texture section for all of them. So let's begin and see which one's the winner.
All right, so these have all dried, dried to the touch at least. I'm sure that the texture sections are still a little wet anyway. So I am very impressed with the three professional brands. I would definitely say that they all look very similar. I did just do one coat across the board. Golden, I would say, is probably the most opaque of the three, but I'm really happy with all three of those. I can't tell if the camera can actually catch this, but the uh, Blick Artist is definitely a little bit darker than these three. Um, kind of hard to tell, but definitely is a little bit darker and then is not as opaque. And then the Liquitex Basics, that is honestly super sad to see. The sad thing, and the reason why I say it's sad, is because it's not super pigmented and it's very watery, as you can kind of see from almost this wash, I feel like that makes it really hard for learning how to develop color and mix colors because it's going to drastically change how much of like a gray or a black is going to take over a color in comparison to even the top four or the top three. And so if you're using all Liquitex Basics, that's one thing. But if you're using Liquitex Basics and let's say you take some uh, carbon black from Golden, you're going to need a much smaller amount of that Golden than what you would need for the Acrylic Basics. Uh, going on to the total coverage. So total coverage here. Uh, these actually probably didn't need three coats. They probably could have just taken two, but I just went ahead and did three. I felt like they were pretty uh, covering. Once again, I would say that the Golden is probably the best of them. And then probably followed by the Windsor Newton. I was really happy with how that turned out. Then once again, uh, the Blick Artist actually wasn't too far behind, but is definitely a darker color. I would also say that this paint ended up turning out a little bit more flat. These are uh, a little bit more of a glossy finish. I don't want to say like, don't think too much into that, I guess. Um, and then as you can see here, we can still see the black in that Liquitex Basics. And honestly, I got to six coats and I stopped. The last three coats I did pretty heavy and you could still see the black through. I'm not going to keep going because... <laughs> Yeah, basically, if I'm going to use Liquitex Basics, it's probably not going to be something to where I'm trying to cover over a darker color or, um, you know, really build up a color. It might be something more for, like, my underpainting. And then detailed coverage. So, once again, these three probably could have stopped at two. The Windsor & Newton needed the third, but I just went ahead and did all at three. And then kind of same story here. This is still definitely a lot darker uh, in tone than this. Uh, maybe a little bit bluer. Maybe hard to see on the camera. Anyway, and then I got to six on here and said, I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. And then the final test is our texture. And these three professional brands... I definitely think maintain that texture uh, the most. So you have like all these beautiful ridges. And then both of the cheaper brands, the Blick Artist and Liquitex Basics, those flattened out. And especially the Liquitex Basics, like that flattened out so much. So I don't know what you're looking for as far as for paint, but I wanted to show a pure color uh, art brand for acrylic painting comparison so you had a better gauge when you're in that art aisle. So I hope this helped. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more weekly art videos, please click subscribe. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me today and I really hope this was helpful. If there are any other brand comparisons that you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments. I would be happy to create more content. Thanks so much.